Indigenous elders in the top end are trying to save their endangered language using a smartphone app and crowdsourcing software. It's estimated fewer than 100 people speak the language in the Northern Territory. The Marathiel language, part of the Chicken language group, is spoken by a handful of people, including Linda Ford, who promised her late mother she'd keep it alive. That's one of the languages that we were taught from the day we were born, um, probably before we were born, because they would have been singing to us in their tummies, as mothers do. It's spoken in regions southwest of Darwin, including the Daly River, Wagite, and Balyuan. Yvonne Kumkum and Yungi Ati are fluent in the language. Long time to pick up, you know, because there would be any more. But as I left, if I'm gone, well, who can I speak to them? My grandchildren. In my diet, we're trying to um, teach them again while we're here. A smartphone app and crowdsourcing software are being used to record and connect speakers and create a dictionary for younger generations. Well, I've had people um, contact me from Canberra and said, I'm part of the Marathiel descent group, can you teach me the language? The language team has just finished on-country recordings where a hunt for long-necked turtles became the basis of one of the stories told. The idea is that people in, in remote locations can get involved in the language documentation process without there needing to be any specialists there involved. Whatever I can do to make sure that the language maintains um, a consistent um, flow across the generations. New technology helping maintain one of the world's oldest continuous cultures. Felicity James, ABC News.